This morning, I, and you guys are a great foundation club, and I love the concept of the, the first uh, the, the first meeting of the month that you focus on the foundation. And I've got the building, bring this banner with us. The foundation does so many wonderful things. Every day, every minute, someplace in the world, the Rotary Foundation is doing something. Right? Focus on education, we're also feeding somebody, housing something, doing different projects, obviously medical. We, we have our main goal of eradicating polio that we're this close to, and I'll talk a little bit more about that in a second here. But every day our foundation does wonderful things. And I, the official name is the Rotary Foundation, but I much like to call it our foundation. It really makes Rotary special. We are different than every other service club because we have the Rotary Foundation and we have what it does for us. So I can go on for a long time about talking about how great the foundation is. But the outside parties talk about the foundation. And in fact, we've gotten the highest rating for 10 years in a row from the Charity Navigator. We've got their four-star rating. There's very few of anybody who gets four-star ratings, including those, especially those who get it 10 years in a row. Other ones like the American Red Cross, Save a Child, um, the Vision, those things get three stars. But the way that they write rotaries, and Cherry Navigator is a website you go to if you want to look at a, a 501c and see what they think of it and their views of it. But you go on and they think very, very highly of our Rotary Foundation. Uh, CNN ranked us number five of the top 10 charities in the whole world. The Associated Fundraiser in 2016 gave us the outstanding one. So it's not just us as Rotarians, but it's the outside world that understand how good and how important our foundation is. Um, it has six areas of focus. We already talked about the fifth one, basic education and literacy, but the peace and conflict, disease prevention, water and sanitation, the six areas of focus that they work on uh, that the foundation does around the world. Uh, very, very good, very, very thing. And it's not a bunch of people back in headquarters who decide how the money gets spent. The money is spent based on rotary clubs like this one and other ones who apply for global grants and make decisions on how to spend the money. So the money goes into the foundation from contributions by yourselves, and then the Rotary Foundation gets grant requests, and they make the decision. So each year, approximately uh, a thousand grants are given, and those are what those are the global grants that go from thirty thousand up to two hundred thousand, and even bigger in certain cases. But we as Rotarians have a have our own foundation. You could be a Carnegie, you could be a Ford Foundation, or some of those other ones. If you happen to be a major, major, you know, good person, but we as Rotarians have our own foundation, and we can make decisions on how that money is spent. So it gives us some great power and some wonderful things. Uh, the one I talk about obviously is polio. We're this close to ending polio, and it would start with a Rotary grant. A group in, in the Philippines that a local club started and moved forward to it. And, and in those days, we had 36,000 uh, cases of polio a year. Last year, we had 34 cases in the world. This year, we've only had nine cases of polio in the whole world. And we think any case, every case that we have could be the very last one. So uh, this, this year, the nine cases, eight of them in, Afghan in Afghanistan, only one in Pakistan. And the only other country that is still endemic. Once you don't have a case, you have to go three years before that you're considered eradicated. So Nigeria is in the three-year count-off. They've not had one for several years now. Uh, but again, an outside source, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, thinks so highly of what Rotary is doing to end polio that for every dollar that we contribute to the polio campaign, <coughs> they contribute $2. Another one, another vote of confidence on how strong our foundation is and how worthy it is of other people's recognition. So again, we as Rotarians should be very proud of this. Let me just spend a little time talking about the foundation and education. There are three buckets here. The first one is the Polio Plus campaign, and that's where monies that you contribute directly go to the polio campaign and are used quite quickly in the eradication of polio. Despite the fact that we're down to uh, very few countries, we still need to spend money on inoculation programs in every other country. Because as they unfortunately talk about, a case of spreading polio is only an airplane ride away. So we need to be very careful about making sure that we can end this disease. The second one is the annual fund, or often referred to as every return every year. And that's what we ask you as a club to contribute each year to it. We ask to be able to contribute $100 to be a sustaining member, or at least a minimum of $25 a year. The third bucket is the endowment fund. One time it was called the permanent fund. And that's where money that goes to that fund, the, the principal is never spent and only earnings on it is spent. Going back to the polio campaign again, it's, the funds are kept separate. They're, they're very conservatively invested and put to use right away. So it's different than the other two funds. Um, the endowment fund has about a billion dollars in it right now. And that's money that where the principal is never spent on the earnings. 
Of that, we'll lay about 350 million of its cash though. The other 650 of it is what's called expectancies. That's where people have put bequests, have chosen in their estate, their will, their life insurance policy to, uh, to set up money to go to the foundation when they succeed. It's a way to give money when you're gone. So that sort of stuff. So the expectations is that it'll slowly convert into cash. And uh, there's actually forms in your table for those who want to enjoin uh, with your legacy, support the foundation through uh, giving out of your will. You don't have to open up your will, but you can open up a codicil to fill out the form to do that. Um, so that 350 each, each year kicks off about 15 to 20 million on earnings that is used from the endowment fund for grants. The, um, the annual fund, we get in about $120 million a year. There's 1.2 million returns around the world, each contributing you know, approximately $100 a month. Gives us hundred, some years 110, some years 130. Uh, last year, in the record year of the 100th year of foundation, it was $150 million that was contributed to the foundation. But for the sake here, I'll show you that you know, on average, we get about 120 million that comes in each year. Year one, it comes in, year two, it comes in, and then year three, it comes in. And so we build up this money in <coughs> investments. And that money, those three years, the earnings on that money that sits in the investment accounts for those three years covers significantly all of the overhead for the foundation. <coughs> so money that you contribute to the annual fund goes to end uses. It sits in investment accounts for three years, and that money for the three years then helps support the overhead, <coughs> sizely all the overhead for the foundations, and including Polio Plus and the endowment fund. So it's a, again, it's a model that your navigator really likes because of the fact that your end dollars go to, to actual uses. In the fourth year, another 120 million comes in, and then the, the first year, the year, you know, three years prior to that, the 120 million is then released. So that 15 to 20 million that came from the endowment fund plus the 120 million that's released, then therefore goes to about 135 to 140 million dollars that each year the Rotary Foundation uses to do good in the world. And the most interesting thing about how that money then goes is that money then comes back in what's referred to the share system. So the annual fund, the contributions go to it, and the endowment fund, only the earnings go to it, and obviously the Polio Plus Fund, the money goes directly to the polio campaign to eradicate polio. That share system then splits the money that comes in, that 135 million or so, halfway between the DDF, which is district designated fund. That money comes back to our district, and we as a district get to decide how to use the money. The other half of it goes to the World Fund, which then therefore uses it for global grants. So it's a, you know, just an interesting system of that sort of stuff. But the more we contribute to the annual fund, the more we get back in district fund. Our district funds then, some of it goes to the polio campaign, some of it goes to peace centers, which we use to support around the world. And then another big part of it goes to our district grants. And our district grants is a process there where every club can apply for a grant to $7,000 and get back 3,500. And that's all funneled by money that's come back from the district designated fund. So again, the system and the purpose of my education, I've gone to multiple clubs here, is to help them better understand it, better understand why your, your contributions and how they work to the, to the actual annual fund and how it turns around and affects us in the way that we get district grants. And district grants, of course, can be used within the district or you can actually go internationally and use that money in other locations. So we're able to take those monies both from the global grant and the district fund. One of the big things about the diet, you know, of course it demonstrates our vision. Without our vision of doing good in the world, the foundation really is an important part in making that happen and what that's all about. It also results in engagement. You guys are a great club on your engagement with the foundation. In fact, you keep foundation top of your mind and I applaud that. You're very different than most other clubs in doing that. So, so I applaud you doing that and the importance of, of the foundation. It increases giving. Once you know more about the foundation, once you talk about the foundation, it obviously helps to bring in more funding. But on these grant things, there's a huge amount of leverage. Stuff, if you raise money through your fundraisers and just try and give it to individual projects, you just get dollar for dollar. Whatever you raise, you have to give up. But if you apply through a global grant system, you get a multiple of 3.5 times that money by getting funding from both the district and from the global. So just unbelievable leverage on it. So every club all the time ought to be working on either a district grant or global grants to keep things going. It's just a process. They're not simple though. Global grants is, you know, is complex. And one of the things about it, and one of the reasons we get rated so highly is the stewardship and the controls that we put in place in these grants that make them happen. So again, it's an important thing about it, but if you want to use leverage in providing that sort of stuff, it's just a, a super way of doing it within Rotary. Um, 
One way to contribute to Rotary, and I've left some forms in, is Rotary Direct. This is where you can sign up for Rotary Direct, and there's forms here, and I've got a lot more for them. But it comes directly out of your bank account or directly out of your credit card. Obviously, you get points your credit card, you can still get that, and you can sign up to do it on a monthly basis or a quarterly basis or just an annual basis and make your contributions to it. It actually actually reduces some of the overhead of a club where the club takes the contributions and then has to then forward it on. This goes directly to the Rotary mm -hmm. Foundation. It's in your name, it's in your club's name, and all those same credits get there. So we highly encourage Rotary Direct mm -hmm. to use that now to help contribute money to it. Ingram recognitions. Um, we look for people to become sustaining members, those are members where every member gives a minimum of $100 to the uh, Rotary Foundation every year, and that's your stuff. Um, benefactors is those who make decisions in their legacy to leave a thousand dollars or more to the, the Rotary Foundation to the endowment fund. So you can become a benefactor. All these are things that we recognize with different pins and different uh, plaques and other things that do it. Uh, the third one is Paul Harris Fellow Club, and you guys are an absolutely great club on becoming Paul Harris Fellows. You're you're actually very very close to being a hundred percent Paul Harris Club, and that counts only those members that have been in Rotary in one year. Uh, but you're very close to it, and I applaud you on what you've done there. The Paul Harris Society members, and I think your club has one of those, is somebody is somebody who makes a decision to give $1,000 every single year to the foundation. So that's something we encourage there, something that's obviously very supportive, something that's recognized at the annual district conference. We have special recognitions for those people who are, are basically contributing as a Paul Harris Society member. So I applaud those people who do that. Uh, the Quest Society, like the benefactor, but that's at the $10,000 level. So if you choose to live $10,000 or more through your, your estate or through your life insurance policies, then, then you become a Quest Society member. Uh, major donor are those that, that have given, you get your Paul Harris 1, Paul Harris 2, Paul Harris 3, all the way up to Paul Harris 8. And then after that, when you've contributed $10,000 in cash, not including points that you may have gotten into your, uh, in your Paul Harris points, you then become a major donor. So it's those people who have given at least $10,000 in cash to the foundation. Uh, the last one, which is only very select three in our district right now, we have three people who are Arch Club Society members. And those are members who step up and give a quarter of a million dollars to the foundation. This, just this past year, our governor, Tom Carroll, and his wife made a decision to do that, and they become Arch Club Society members. You're recognized back at Rotary headquarters, your picture goes up there. It's obviously a major significant contribution to our foundation, and believe in what you've done in that case. So again, uh, you know, great recognition, and I obviously encourage everybody else to, to get there too. Again, another big plug for uh, Rotary Direct. To become a Paul Harris Society member, that's $1,000, it's only $84 a month, and that can come out of your credit card along with all your bills and just pay it, especially for stuff, or the two fifty a quarter for $1,000 a year. So all that, and that can all be done via Rotary Direct to become a Paul Harris Society member. Um, club recognition, to the extent that your club has 100% Paul Harris fellows, you get recognized as a Paul Harris fellow club. And those include only those members who were on at the beginning of Richard's year. So anybody in the current year doesn't count against $100. And you're again very, very close to that. And you could you could become a whole Paul Harris Fellow Club by the end of this year. If you saw that. 100% Paul Harris Society, that's where we're giving the $1,000. There's not a club in our district who's met that requirement yet. Um, and then the top three clubs in giving, those clubs on a per capita basis that have given the most, and those are recognized both through conference and through banner recognition. So all these are ways that we recognize clubs that do a great job in the foundation. Uh, foundation recognition points, something you understand, and that sort of stuff. And for every dollar that you give to, to the annual fund or to polio, campaign to end polio, you get one point back. And that point can be used to give to other people in recognition for that sort of stuff. I've used to recognize my wife as a Paul Harris fellow, also my daughter and that sort of stuff. Our club recognizes people in the communities with Paul Harris Society with points the club get. The clubs get points also for money that it contributes either to a global brand or to the annual fund or the polio fund. So all those are, are doable in that case too. So it's a, it's a great system. Your club has a fair amount of points and occasionally I think you've used them to uh, recognize others or to encourage investments in, uh, to get people towards their Paul Harris campaign. So again, foundation points are something that's, that's sometimes not well understood by Rotary clubs. Um, 
I'm here today with a special office. I always wanted to be a pitch guy to get pitches with this. So I've been with Mike on a special offer here. Just a great one. But the special offer today is the fact that if by the end of June, which is coming up very quickly, if anybody signs up for Rotary Direct and the forms are here and all you gotta do is tell me that you've done that and you've made those contributions for Rotary Direct, then uh, Tom Carroll, our governor, will transfer 100 points to your Paul Harris account. Just for signing up, uh, any amount that you sign up for it, and that sort of stuff. I think the, the minimum is $10 on the, on the Rotary Direct. But uh, we can do that. So it's a special offer, not just for one person, not for two, but you get multiples of these and you get multiple people here, and there's no shipping and handling. We do it without <laughs> So it's a true special offer here tonight. Uh, but it's got to get done within this uh, Rotary year. Um, your club right now is uh, basically, I see right now, my numbers I looked up, and Brent and I tried to go over these right now. Is that right now you've got 41 Paul Harris fellows, and that includes a, uh, there's one or two individuals who are actually within the year uh, of your contributions. Uh, there are three benefactors, two request society people, and of course requests is where they give them $10,000 or more. Uh, no Paul Harris Society, no major donor, and only one person using your Rotary Direct right now. Um, one of the areas that this year, and I know you focused more on polio this year, but the every year every Rotarian, you've only got 27 people out of your uh, 47 or so that have contributed $25 or more to the foundation. So, uh, so I encourage you to try and up those numbers and do that. And sustaining members are those members who have given a thousand dollars or it's a hundred dollars or more to the thing. You come down, you've got 15 members this year to do it. So you still got time. There's a pledge sheet that's right, right for out here, and uh, he'll make sure that those get in for the rotary year, so you guys can improve these numbers and the like. So I encourage that. Um, just for uh, one of the things I don't know if you see this all the time, but since '81, when the club was chartered, uh, you've given uh, nearly uh, more than $280,000 to the Rotary Foundation. I thank you for that. So you as a club have given more than a quarter million dollars to the foundation, which is just absolutely wonderful. And I just, uh, I really applaud you for that. And I thank you for that and going forward. Uh, we have three clubs out of our 90 districts who've actually exceeded a million dollars. And when you get to, to the million dollar level, they actually throw a big party. And just last year, the Lakewood Club hit the million dollar uh, mark. And actually the president of Rotary International came out to an award dinner for them when they hit their million dollar marks one. So, so I'm sure if you get the half million dollar mark, we can do something within the district for doing it. But it's again milestones. The other two clubs that have done it, of course, Tacoma 80, with their length and their size of the club, have hit the million dollars. And then Bainbridge Island uh, Club is, a, is the third club that hit the million dollar mark. Though. So but I applaud your 288,000. I think that uh, you guys are a great club. And, and the fact you have the spirit of the foundation in your monthly, uh, or your uh, first of the month, uh, Wearing the Paul uh, Harris pins and all that, so I applaud that for that sort of stuff. Um, this is a chart you can't read uh, from the backs. It's uh, purposely not. <laughs> and something that Brett and uh, Richard yet yeah, told you, and uh, you'll see that. And that sort of tracks where you are in your goals and that sort of stuff. And because you're focused on Polio Plus this year, your annual fund number is not what it's been in the past. You've been regularly a much bigger contributor. You still got some time to get those numbers up in the annual fund. And they're both important. It's hard to say that the polio campaign's not, as we're this close to ending it, we need the dollars in the polio campaign, but we also need the money in the annual fund because that's what drives grants. So if all the money disappeared from the annual fund, we wouldn't get money back to, to do grants. So it's almost the fact that we're looking for clubs to do both, to keep up the annual giving and also to give to the polio campaign. We're not gonna get the polio campaign for too many more years because the hope is that we're gonna eradicate it and uh, and end that contribution to it. So, um, but, uh, you know, Brent's got this and looked at it, and Richard does, and they know where the numbers are. There's a short video here, we'll see if the sound works on it. And this is just to wrap up here. Uh, but it's really a part of the thing. If you can see down at the bottom here, you'll see the different uh, icons for the different areas of focus that the foundation does. But this, you know, all of us should be very proud of what the foundation does in the world and what it does to around it. Something that, you know, again, makes us as Rotarians very, very special. The fact that we have this foundation and we have this uh, wonderful thing about it. Uh, this just runs about two more minutes here, I'm afraid. Uh, but you'll see some of the various different things here. Uh, this one's obviously water, the very different water projects, and you guys have done some water projects, as I know. Um, but in, in, obviously it's an important part of what Rotary Foundation is all about and what we do in developing countries. Um, this is economic development, another one of the area focuses, that whether it's helping in your in your agriculture or uh, one of the other efforts in what we try and do in the things, helping um, you know various different uh, air clothes manufacturing and uh, different things. Uh, this is in medical, you know, obviously is another area of focus that, that the foundation does. Obviously the polio campaign is a very good, important part of that. The rotary around the world has done you know, everything from helping out in various different locations. And um, uh, this is peace. Rotary has always been built on peace. Rotary Foundation and Rotary Returns are very involved in the foundation of the UN. Our exchange program is one of the key fundamentals that they can do to better understand people around the world and support of 
the uh, of understanding of peace and that, that's, what, that's a very important part of it. Uh, maternal health, we're very concerned about uh, uh, mothers and their children around the world and the efforts we can do to help prevent maternal cases and problems with uh, newborns around the world. Um, and this is a, obviously a big part of that. And then uh, literacy and education. And you guys in the club do a wonderful job in that. Your support of the middle school in education and, and rewarding your work there is again part of it. So not everything happens in other world countries. A lot of what we do here through grants and other things helps within our own community. And that's obviously something to be very proud of and something that you as a club do. But it's really because of the work of it's a reality because of clubs like you who make contributions and support the foundation. So again, I highly encourage you to do that. I highly encourage you to keep that going. And I thank you for uh, what you've done and what you will do for the Rory Foundation. So um, thanks again on behalf of the Rory Foundation, the district, and myself for the stuff, what, what you've done to help the Rory Foundation. So I can be around after.